Morning, folks. Coffee and bullshit time. Now, you'll remember a while ago, I did a video where I said that, uh, in my opinion, destroyers are completely overpowered. Um, well, yesterday, Wargaming released an interesting stat. Most popular researchable ships based on the number of battles played in 2021 and random battles. Shimakazi, number one. Yeah, no surprise. Three racks of five torpedoes each. Yamato, solid, solid choice. Um, if you've got the legendary upgrade for it, it's super accurate. Lots of HP. Yeah, she doesn't surprise me. And this was the surprise. Bismarck, number three. Big surprise. Did not expect that there. Holland, number four. Again, destroyer. Uh, no surprise there. And North Carolina at number five. I was very surprised. I don't see the North Carolinas being that strong in the current meta. Yeah, well, I can be wrong. Anyway, the reason for today's actual video. World of Warships, team shelter to the community, all to the game community. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It's quite long. Um, you guys can go and read it. I'll put the link at the bottom of the video. Dear players, a lot of you have been upset with various incidents, our decisions, as well as the general state of things in the game and the community. Before we continue, we want to apologize to all of you, players, content creators, moderators, testers, and other volunteers, to those who support us and those disappointed with us. Everything that happens within the game and the community is our responsibility, and we are sorry that we let the situation come to its current state. All right, so... They go on to talk about monetization, random mechanics, um, drop rates. They plan to publish all drop rates. Return of the Missouri. They talk about the summer sale, um, age ratings. And this is a big thing. Um, this was pure jingles. And and everybody, like, give it a big shout out to jingles. He did really well. This. Um, then they go on a big section about feedback. Um, you would like to confirm balance changes are planned for Zao, which in my mind is good. I really loved the Zao, which was so underperforming. Petro Pavlovsk, Petro has already been nerfed. I don't know why they're going to nerf her more. FDR, yeah. Um, aircraft carriers is the whole, everybody still hates CVs thing. Um, new gameplay experiences. Convoys, yay, where they already nerfed the fucking escort ships. Maps, we've slowed down with adding new maps. When I stopped playing, which was in March, they hadn't had a new map in 15 months. So it's almost fucking two years, two years since a new map. Operations, uh, CV rework rendered a lot of AI related internal tools and yeah, we, we will be able to return some of the old operations in 2022. There were some really good operations. And this is what I loved about World of Warships is, even one evening, I didn't feel like random battles. I could just go ops with the guys, we'd shoot the shit and play, and that, that's gone. There's so few ops that are good. I mean, Narai is pretty much the only half-decent one. Um, my opinion here is they're going to fix one or two and say, see, we listen to you. Other, uh, there are plenty of other things we know you're interested in. For example, here on West Virginia 44 coming 2023, addressing the chat system, improvements for ranked, etc. Communications, and then they go on to the community contributor program, the future of the game, communications quality, general transparency, and in-depth communication and insights. All right. Yours sincerely, Victor uh, Bardowski, Publishing Director, uh, Andre Lezak, Development Director. All the Warships team. Okay. So yesterday, I saw the entire CC and XCC community, except one or two, gush over this. And they were like, oh, oh wow. They finally reached a statement. It's wonderful. They listen to us. Guys, 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 guys. In Africa, we have a saying. A leopard doesn't change its spots. And that actually comes from the Bible. Jeremiah 13, 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? And you go, what, what does that mean? 
a leopard never changes its spot. The phrase a leopard never changes its spots means that it's impossible for one to change the character even if they try very hard. The expression sometimes also used as a leopard can't change its spots is used to explain the idea that no one can change their innate nature. I'm going to come back to this. If you for one second think wargaming is going to change their innate nature you are a fool i for one do not believe for one second that they're going to make a lot of the actual changes that they are proposing here this is damage control 101 they actually sat down with somebody that understands public relations typed up this entire document, looked at all the concerns and said, we'll look at it. We'll be back here in a year if I'm still making YouTube videos. And I can guarantee you 80% of these issues will still exist. CVs will still be unbalanced. DDs will still be overpowered. Ships will still be very broken in some instances. Operations, like I said... I think you're going to get one, maybe two of the old ops back. New maps. Art department's been killing it on fixing the maps. But new maps? I think you're going to get one new map in the next 12 months. And that's all I'm going to say about this. A leopard does not change its spots. People, have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there, look after each other, and I hope you all have a fantastic day further. Take care. Cheers.